Hello everyone, welcome back to complete Laravel e-commerce project tutorial series where we are building a e-commerce project, multi-vendor e-commerce project using Liveware Laravel. Okay, so today we will show you how you can display category-wise data. In our last video, we will show you how you can add product to your car. Okay, update your car by increasing or decreasing cart element and accordingly our total also increasing decreasing right we can also remove the card item simple so everything is working right now today we will show you how you can display category wise product okay there's two way to do you can simply create a live component and entirely maintain this uh, category wise product using that or you can do in traditional way that is very simple let me show you how you can do in that way in order to display a product by category, we need to follow these three steps very fast. Uh, we will create show category products method in our home page controller. Okay, simple. And this show category products mod method will receive category name from our route. Okay, then using that category name, we will find out that category from our category table. Then uh, from our product table, we will find out all the product which have that category ID. Okay, then we'll simply display that in our view. And finally, we have to update the nav links because currently these links are not working. All of these are dead. So let's do it step by step. Today we'll do this and tomorrow we will make this search working. Okay, fine. Let's very fast create this route. Okay, let's create this route in our web.psd file under home page controller so if you watch this route you will see that this route receiving a category name from our link right so maintaining this category name we have to do all the uh, fetching from database so let's do it now we're going to create show category products in our home page controller so here we go public function home page sorry show category of product and it will receive the category name here you go you, you can see here it will receive the category name okay finally very fast we have to do one thing what we need to find out the category in which this category name is belongs so category we're going to use the category model where the category name is equal equal our category name okay so simply we will do this fetching from database and it will do fast or fail so what we are telling here to our query that use our category model to query in our database categories table and look for the category name if it match with the category name then find out the very first one and return us the very first one if we have multiple just return the very first one we will not have multiple but still uh, we are doing like this that if we have multiple just fetch out the first one and if there's no category then just int or finish the query there okay that means fast or fail find the first one or fail now we already find the category next we need to find the product so products how we will find the products using the product model we will do higher category id i am sure that every of our product have a category id yes category id so directly from the route we don't get the category id that's why we are fetching out the category here then we will use that to pass it the category then id sorry Right. then we need to get all of them 
nice so very fast we are finding out the category in which this category name belongs then from that we have the category id and then finally we are finding out all the products which belongs to that category id okay then let's return here return view home on index home categories okay and it will compact category and products right now we don't have this home categories file blade file so what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply go to home index.blade.php copy it once paste it once as well okay select copy paste change it name to categories dot blade dot php fine now we don't need this hero part here we will have separate content here i think all of you have this theme if you don't have you can easily buy it so this is our theme and if you go to the shoe page if you have the theme you can easily buy it from gumroad okay so this is the page or this is the design we use in our categories display or categories for a display so i'm going to open it in notepad plus plus in another editor actually then i'm going to simply copy everything from this spread crumb okay so I simply copy everything from here until the flash cell and yeah let's paste everything here save it okay now before making it dynamic let's open which one let's open layout user.blade.php and now make this category ul dynamic how i'm going to use here php int php then fetch out all the categories here inside of our app folder we have http folder or app folder we have the models folder then inside models folder we have the categories folder we will simply get the all category okay fine now we can simply look through here okay we don't know it, all of them we just keep one here then use for each for each then categories as category okay and inside of that for each loop we'll paste it here okay then finally we'll show here the category name using the blade templating so category then we have the category name right let me see whether it working or not it must display here category all the category yes electronic fashion home and furniture every of these things is like now displaying here now giving here our actual route okay our route name is what is our route name our route name is product by category right so yeah here we are passing that product by category and it will also receive a category name which is inside our category then category name should be perfect refresh and now if i click on electronics you can see here at left bottom of my screen it is displaying the accurate route i clicked on that and you can see 
it is displaying the face perfectly all i have to do is i have to make this thing accurate right make this thing accurate okay let's do it okay so we are going back to categories.blade.php and here we go if you go to products section oh we have the product here we have one product here two product here three product here manual manually four product we have here we remove three product from here then keep one and then we for each loop here for each okay for each products as product okay and then the twist here is if you go to index.blade.php and i am sure that here we also for each the product okay let me see product image product image okay library product filter component let me open that uh, product filter component okay here we have the for each loop or for each loop and all you have to do is we have to copy that for each loop fully because whatever we did here we need to do the same thing in the categories here okay so we just paste whatever we copied save it go back to the site refresh and you can see in electronics we don't have any product so it's displaying no product found in this category fashion we have one product which is yellow shoe and it is displaying here perfectly if i click on add to cart it is also adding to the cart okay you can see here it's added to the cart i removed it and click on add to cart again you can see it is working so this is how you can display product by category okay in our next video we will show you how you can make the search working then we will come to this section where we will make these filters working as well so yeah another thing remain here that is we need to remove them from here for sure okay this this one we don't need it refresh perfect 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 so this is how you display product by category thank you so much for watching i will catch you in the next video